Welcome to Sir King's Virtual Classroom. Before anything else, let's have our opening prayer. Let's bow our heads and feel the presence of the Lord. All powerful and ever living God, the cause of all goodness and graces, the inspiration of all learners, young and old, who is wisdom and love, we are grateful for every opportunity given to us for learning and discovery, the wonders of life and the world, the opportunity to seek meaning and understanding to everything that life has given us. We beseech you, O Lord, to grant us the strength and fervor in keeping our minds open to every lesson taught to us by our mentor. Okay, before we continue, I just have few reminders for our online classes. Okay, so at this point, let's check first the attendance. Very good! All are present. Wow! Before we start today's activity, I just have a question. Who among you know Netflix? Wow! There's so many of you. Ah! The fun has been doubled! I can see smiles in your faces. It seems that there's so many students right now who knew Netflix. Of course, because nowadays, Netflix is very popular to you. Netflix is a very popular online streaming application wherein you can watch um, various TV series and movies all over. World. And today, we will watch Netflix. Are you excited? Yes, that's great. So, what's the account that we will use today? We will use the account of Humanities and Social Sciences or Humes. And the movie or the genre that we're going to watch today as our lesson, no other than Disciplines and Ideas in Social Sciences from Second Quarter. Let's play! But before that, let's have a quick recap of the movies we have watched last week or last meeting. So these are the posters. This is the number one. This is the number two. This is the number three. And this is number four. Do you still recall? For our first movie poster as our last topic, that is, very good Ethan, you got it right, that is Marxism. How about the second poster? Anyone who can answer? Okay, that is Feminist Theory or Feminism. Very good, Ira. How about the third one? Psychoanalysis. Very good, Ian. How about the last one? Don't be shy. Come on! The fourth picture depicts environment. Therefore, Isaac? Yes, excellent. Very good. That is um, human environment system. And these are all different approaches in social sciences under the paradigm of critical social sciences. And these are our last topic. And this is the movies that we have watched last time. These are all, yes, very good, Tonya. These are all foreign critical um, way of studying things, especially the society and the people inside it. They are all Western approaches. Okay? Very good. So before we proceed to our movie today, to our topic for today, let's see what's popular on Netflix. So, okay, did you know what is that logo? Okay, very good, Luis. That is the logo of another um, application which is famous today. 
TikTok. Okay, so before we proceed to our topic or to our movie for today, let's watch a TikTok video related to it. o tindig ng katawan, kundi nasa tatag ng sarili at tapang ng kaisa. Ako, si Supremo Andres Bonifacio. Isa ako sa nagtapad ng kataas-taasang kagalang-galangang katipunan ng anak na ito. Ako, ang yung unang pangulo. Nithiin kay mapalaya ating bansa sa kamay ng napangaping banuaga. Kayong mga puso at bukan, ng dagat at pagsip na nagkanig na asana. Ngayon magbangon bayay itanghal. Agangin sa ako ng mga kriminal. At huwag nang magpapaalipin pa. Punitin ang mga sedula! Okay, after watching those TikTok video, I have questions for all of you. First question, what do you see in the video? Okay, let's have Rafael. Okay, there are three people in the short TikTok video. That's good, and that's right, very good. Second question, do you know them and how? Okay, let's have Colleen. Yes, excellent, very good. Yes, they are Philippine national heroes. Okay, you are correct. And how did you know them? Okay, you already seen them in various um, documentaries and books when you were in elementary and junior high school. Okay, third question. Who are the people you see in the video? Okay, um, let's have Rafael, um, Jose Rizal, correct? Ray, Emilio Jacinto, very good. Wendy, okay, Andres Bonifacio. Keep up the good work, very good. Last question, what are their contributions to society? Anyone? Kaya. Okay, They're, they are heroes who fight for our freedom. Very good. Based on historical facts, um, they fight the colonizers in different ways. Revolution, very good. What else? They influence other people to unite. To fight for our beloved country. Very good, students. So, we will have an activity. Ayan. Very good for our analysis of those TikTok videos. So, I want all of you to complete and make a mind map about the profile of the following people mentioned in the short TikTok video. 
using mindmaster.com for those students in synchronous classes or online classes. Mindmaster.com is a or is an online um, educational tool. It is free. You can make um, online mind maps. And I will send the link to you and you have to complete it for 10 minutes based on the TikTok video we have watched. And for those students who are in synchronous classes, um, asynchronous classes I mean, and modular learning, you can draw a mind map in a paper and, or you can complete the mind map in your learning module. Just um, complete it provided with the text about those um, people in a TikTok video. So this is the mindmaster.com. You can customize and personalize your own mind map regarding those people that we have watched. You have 10 minutes to accomplish that. Okay. Time's up. Very good, students. You already completed our activity and you written down there their contributions, their short profile, wow, their works, you have prior knowledge, and their ideas about society and about change. Very good. So, do you know what is our topic for today, our main topic? Okay. Heroes, writers, um, history. It's quite related because our topic for today is about Filipino social thinkers. Have you heard of um, about this? Have you heard about this topic? Oh, it's your first time. Okay. As Jung's or Humanities and Social Sciences student, this topic is very vital because um, in the past weeks, we are studying Western approaches in social sciences. But today, we will study our own indigenous social science. That is called Filipino social science. And in the context of the Philippine setting, we have Filipino social thinkers during the 18th to 19th century who started to think for the welfare of our society. So we have our own version of seeing the society as a whole and the people and the institutions within it. Okay? So what are the lesson objectives for today? First, okay, thank you for reading. Examine the social ideas of Filipino thinkers starting from Isabella de los Reyes, Jose Rizal, and other Filipino intellectuals. Second objective, create a concept paper of Filipino social science using indigenous concepts. Third objective, value and appreciate the works of Filipino social thinkers. Okay, and, I, and we are expected to attain those after this lesson. So we are properly guided. Let us first define, students, what is a social thinker or what are um, the characteristics of a social thinker. According to experts, a social thinker is, um, is an individual who can regard it as visionaries toward the improvement of society in a particular time. So, they have their own mindset. And that mindset is their mindset for change for society. So, in a specific particular time. So, in, in our case, so 18th to 19th century for those Filipino social thinkers. So, they want change. They want something um, to attain for the welfare of the people of our society during their time. So, it is also defined as great individuals who have contributed significantly to the development of political and social thoughts and philosophy. So they have their own ideas and they highly influence the other people during their time. So um, they, 
they help a lot no during their time to open the minds of the people for greater good and one of the most famous um social thinker during that time and the most um the most famous among all, all of the heroes our national hero no other than Jose Rizal, also called as the reformist. What are the social ideas of Jose Rizal? Rizal's social ideas focus on the necessity to promote a genuine propaganda campaign that will provide information about the Philippines and their people, their capabilities and achievements, aspirations, and moral rights. Rizal is a very intellectual person. However, He is also kind to everyone, especially to his fellow Filipinos. He really loves um, his country and he is always proud of the culture and um, the values of the Filipinos. Rizal was born in Atalamba, Laguna. Rizal is a writer poet, teacher, ophthalmologist, novelist, and sculptor, a genuine scholar and one of the great Filipino thinkers of all time. Rizal also criticized the corrupt system of the Spanish colonial government, including its abusive officials. He also blamed the backwardness of the Philippines and its lack of development as the main cause of the indolence of its people. Also, In addition to that, Rizal was also an advocate of human rights, particularly on women's rights in the Philippine colonial society. If you don't know, Rizal also um, an ally about feministic point of view. Um, he values um, women a lot. Rizal criticized the corrupt system of the Spanish colonial government, including its abusive officials. Rizal wrote so many uh, propaganda, propaganda about the abusive doings of government officials and some um, church heads during his time. What are the famous works of Jose Rizal? Of course, we all know that. The Nolime Tangere and the El Filibusterismo. These two novels highly influenced the people during his time. Those um, commoners or those uh, Filipinos who read his book were influenced to fight for Philippines against the colonizers, specifically the Spaniards. Next, let's now move on to our second uh, Filipino social thinker. No other than Andres Bonifacio, also called as the Revolutionist. Andres Bonifacio was different from Jose Rizal. However, his aspirations was inspired, was inspired by the ideals of Jose Rizal. Why? Because he read Rizal's novels. Andres Bonifacio was called the Supremo of the Katipunan. He was the original founder of the KKK or the Kataas-Taasang Kagalangala ng Katipunan ng Mga Anak ng Bayan with the objective of overthrowing Spanish colonial regime in the Philippines. They just have different methods of achieving things. He was able to enrich his knowledge on social issues by reading popular works during his time. What are his social ideas? He believes that We will continuously experiencing pain and suffering under colonial rule and he persuades them to realize the true worth of Filipinos. His revolutionary philosophy was published in a revolutionary newspaper which is called Kalayaan. Andres Bonifacio was also popular among the Philippine national heroes. He is call, also called as one of the greatest Filipino heroes. This is one of the depiction of Andres Bonifacio in a painting. Next, 
A friend of Andres Manibasio, Emilio Jacinto, also called as the brains of Katipunan. He became the secretary of Katipunan and editor of the newspaper, Kalayaan. For Bonifacio, Emilio Jacinto is the brain and soul of the revolution. Emilio Jacinto was really bright. His social ideas, he capitalized on the idea of a free reign of reason of the freedom to think and do, rather than the freedom to will and do. Emilio Sinto believes in the reasoning of Filipinos. And he doesn't believe that we are deserved to be called Injo. He believed that we must perform good deeds, defend the oppressed, and eliminate the all evil ways. He also believed that Filipinos must get rid of slavery, must embrace liberty again with Christ and bloody revolution. So Andres Bonifacio and Emilia Sinto are the same in their methods somehow. Next, this is Isabelo de los Reyes, a labor activist. If you do not know, Isabelo de los Reyes was also called as the father of Filipino socialism. He initiated labor strikes against American labor firms during his time. He organized the first labor union, which is called the Obra Democracia Filipina. He fought for the rights of Filipino employees during his time, during the reign of uh, Americans in our land. One of his famous works was El Folklore Filipino. It contains local stories of folklore such as legends, fables, and superstitions. He also has interest in um, culture and folklores of the Philippines. The last one, Pedro Paterno, also called as the Peacemaker. He is a poet and a novelist. He wrote Sampagita y Poesas Varias, 1880. He is the first Filipino collection of poems and he also wrote Ninay, 1885, the first Filipino novel. Pedro Paterno is a journalist, but later on, he became a politician because he believes that we can change what is happening in society if we are part of the government. He also emphasized that Filipinos had culture and identity long before the arrival of the Spaniards in the archipelago. He also values culture. Okay, there are so many Filipino social thinkers, but those are just some. And here are the guided questions after our discussion. First question, how do Filipino thinkers view Philippine society during their time? Okay. Okay, very good, Darren. They were oppressed by the colonizers. They think that they have to do something in order to bring back their freedom and peace to their motherland. Second question, why is there a need to explain social occurrence in the Philippine society using the Filipino perspective? Anyone from this class? It is also in, written in the module for those in modular learning. Okay, so we are Filipinos and sometimes we have to use Filipino approach in order to understand Filipino social science activities such as the revolution, um, such as the, um, the activities mentioned in our topic. Okay, that's great. Very good. Question number three. How did the ideas of, Pili of Bonifacio and Asinto help in analyzing Filipino society? What do you think? Okay, how about the others? Don't be shy. Okay, very good. So, their ideas highly influenced the other Katipuneros and the other fellow Filipinos to fight 
for their country even though they have to use weapons because they believe that it is um, a necessity during their time. And they arouse uh, the fire inside the heart of other Filipinos to fight for the freedom and for the welfare of our country, which is the Philippines. Last, last question, how their beliefs change the society during their time? Of course, it is not um, a short way to freedom. So, However, they are successful in encouraging other Filipinos all over the country to fight against the colonizers. Even though um, it's a long way before the true freedom of our country. However, um, I like your answers. Very good. You have prior knowledge regarding Philippine history. That's great. And we need to study more Philippine um, history because it's our own local history. For generalization, and first question, how they view Philippine society during their time? Okay, thank you. Okay, very good. Thank you for your answers. We have various opinions. However, um, we must compromise and we must respect the opinions of others. And also by studying these topics, we also uh, replenishing our love for our own country or our own motherland. Next, what are the contributions of Isabella de los Reyes, Pedro Paterno, and Jose Rizal in enriching the literature about Philippine society and culture? They have plenty of contributions. Without them, uh, we will not be like this today. Without them, uh, freedom is useless. Okay, thank you everyone for your own opinions and um, learnings for our topic for today. Thank you, humanities and social sciences students. So, as um, as an activity, as an uh, for our output, let's do this. And make a short concept paper about Filipino social science. Write your own social beliefs towards Philippine society at present. So we will relate what happened during their time in what happening right now in our country. Since we are struggling and we are still in the midst of pandemic, so there are still um, injustices, there are still challenges and difficulties that we are facing right now, especially because of COVID-19. So if you're gonna make a concept paper, how you gonna see society as a whole using the Filipino social science perspective, like what Rizal, Andres Medipasio, Emilio Asinto, Isabella de los Reyes, and Pedro Paterno did during their time. How you gonna uh, assess the social science or how you gonna see society as a whole in the present time. So, this is the rubrics for you to properly guided. Content, the paper was very informative, 45%. Organization, the paper was well written with ideas, easily May, 35%. And lastly, use of language, proper use of language, and correct grammar, 20%, with a total of 100%. And for our evaluation, for those in synchronous classes or online classes, we will use the online platform called Quizzes. So, Quizzes is a pre educational tool that we can use for assessments and lessons. So I have only I only have one question for all of you that, that is an essay. And for asynchronous classes and modular learning, answer the assessment task in your learning module. Okay? So I gonna send the link for those in online classes for quizzes as our assessment for today's lesson. And for your assignment, and we will use Mentimeter for that as our reflection. What are the lessons that you have learned today? And what are the other things that you want to learn? And what is the one question that you have still in your mind? Okay. And for those in modular classes, it's already in your module. You can answer it. And... You can reflect on it. 
Thank you everyone. Until next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>